stupid idea. What is your stupid idea? Alright. Next. What am I gonna do next, actually? That's that's a good question to myself. Uh okay, so I think I'm gonna reuse a car for this one. Because I won't be able to afford a new car, at least the way I want to do it. Be my spy for a street stock race. I mean, I could do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in my Griffith. And uh, we're going to race mod this and do some things to it. So let's go to TVR. Just because I want to use a British car, because, you know, I've used an American car, I've used a Japanese car. got to use a British car now for our last regional championship, so... Let's uh, race mod this thing. We got green and purple to choose from, and I'm gonna go with purple because it looks better. That number plate looks really weird on this thing. It's because of how low it is and how close to the front tires it is. Maybe it's the NASCAR fan in me talking, but it looks like it'd look much better on the door. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just spend all our money again. Get that race mod. I think I've already done some upgrades to this thing, so... Wait, no, I haven't, because I use this for the uh, well, normal car championships. Never mind. So we're going to do the racing tires again. Easy upgrade. I'm actually not going to do much to this, because it's already pretty good. Oh. I can only do stage one. Okay. That's pretty expensive, actually. Let's see what exhaust does. More for way less. Okay. No, it, I cannot turbo it. It's, it's, no, can't do that. All right. Um. You know what? I'm gonna leave everything. Actually, I'll upgrade the brakes because these sport brakes I think have been fairly useful. So I'll do that, and I think I'm just gonna leave leave it at that. I think that's just how we be. That power number not really good, but it's also super light. 1,500 pounds, that's really fucking light. So, eh, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Race mod doesn't come with upgrades. It's basically, no, it just basically is, uh, like, gives you all three stages of weight reduction and a racing body kit. So anyways, UK versus US now, so... We've done US versus Japan, we've done UK versus Japan, now it's time for UK versus US. The British Sports Cars versus American Sports Cars. It's the Anglo-American Sports Car Championship. So, again, same five races in the same order, at the same tracks, in the same directions. Thought there was, you know, more uh, diversity there, but I guess not. So, here we go. It's America versus Britannia. It's 1776 all over again. <laughs> uh, so, as always, fuck qual uh, qualifying. And let's see what we have here. Alright, so we've got a Corvette up top on the pole. The Grand Sport, ooh, ooh, -woo. we have, oh, motherfucker, we have a copycat, I see, with more power, but still a copycat, uh, we have the DB7 Coupe, we have the Z28 Camaro, and we just have a Copperhead here, not even race mod, it's just, it's just there, I, I don't even think they've done much performance mods to it either, okay, sure, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Yes, it's just the Copperhead. Okay. Well. Oh, and the, uh, the other Griffith is also purple. Cool. Fucking copy. Oh my god, this thing accelerates. Holy shit. Holy shit, this thing flies off the line. This is the big zoom. Oh my god. 
I'm surprised this thing actually accelerates quicker than the other Griffith, because it actually has more power than mine. And, like, I've done nothing, like, to the transmission. This still has the stock transmission and shit. I am speed. Hello, Corvette. How you doing? Our cars also weigh the same. I mean, it's hella grippy because, one, it's super light, and two, I have the, uh, the soft, uh, slicks on it. So it's definitely gonna have grip. I forgot to change the downforce. That's one thing I forgot to do, is to up the downforce to make it even grippier. But obviously I don't need that, so I'm just not gonna deal with, uh, mess with it. Because I'm already in the lead. Yeah, I think this is gonna be an easy W. Like, five W's. I have underestimated the ability of this car yet again. Hooray. Stage 4 turbo, except you can't turbocharge this car. Zoom, the spirit of driving. Oh, yeah, it is what it says on the ass of this thing. Oh. Actually, Gomez, you do raise a point. The other TBR is probably not on the soft tire, so... Oh, shit. Too much grip. I was expecting the car to kind of swing out for the exit. It never did. <laughs> this is a Q and A, no longer a race. Old license fun for I don't know. I didn't. I'll have a specific donation goal, so I thought I'd make it relevant to the game. <laughs> like, I'm not really raising money towards anything specific. This is a interesting uh, development in this race. Look at the map. It's, it's the tale of two races here. You got the top four here, which I pretty much checked out, and then you have the other two uh, chilling in the back. What is that other car hanging with the copperhead? Fourth and fifth or tad long. That doesn't matter. I mean, dominating. And before it's the other Griffith. Because in the UK versus Japan, the Griffith did really struggle around here for whatever reason. Despite finishing second in every other race. Oh, that's grass. Don't touch that. Yeah, <laughs> guy driving a copperhead is his homie, so he just kind of wants to vibe with him. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Okie dokie! Okie dokie! Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything is a okay. I didn't die. Different model. I mean, they're similar enough. Go, man. Like, there's very little differences between the 500 and the 4.0. It was the Griffith. Alright. So, we have a uh, UK 1-2 here. With the DB7 finishing second. Corvette, the first America car. In third, and then we have the Camaro. The other Griffith. And the Copperhead. All right, interesting first race. My money, give me back my money. The fine British chap prevails. Yes. So, race two. Let's see how the other Griffith performs now, because again, in a. The UK versus Japan, the Griffith really struggled at Trial Mountain, but finished. You know, second every other race. 
So are we going to have a Griffith 1-2 for the rest of the championship now? <laughs> I mean, they could have chose other things like Viper or another Corvette. That red and yellow on that Camaro, by the way, looks fucking weird. It's the ketchup and mustard car. Ah! Oh god, oh no, oh fuck, oh god, okay. Um... That was interesting. It's the McDonald's car, yes. Okay, maybe I should have, uh, maxed the downforce on this thing. Oh. Other Griffith got stuck on the wall. Cool. Excuse me, kind of a cheeseburger. I like how when it comes to the racing livery, you can't actually tell apart the standard Corvette from the Grand Sport. Like, they just have the same livery. I don't even think this has the Grand Sport stripes on the uh, racing mod. On the left front. Can't tell. Passed them too quickly. Okay. That'd be cool to see a return. I mean, it's not going to be a deal breaker if it isn't. Nor should it be. I'm sure there's a slight difference reflector, but, you know. Like, I'm pretty sure the Grand Sport, like, ha you know, has those red rims, whereas the standard VET doesn't. But, you know. Why is the car bouncing so much? Because it weighs 1,500 pounds, and super lightweight car in GT1 means it likes to bounce. <laughs> also, I... It, yeah. Pretty soft suspension on this thing, so... I didn't, like, get the stabilizers or anything, so, it, yeah. Suspension is pretty soft, which is probably contributing to it. What's up, Elisa? Oh, we. Oh! There's a wall there. I done diddly dicked myself. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do a wide entry to this S and it's gonna be cool, and then I hit the wall. Yeah. Corvette with the charitable push. Like, oh. I'll see you're having pr trouble, friend. Copperhead actually vaguely kept up this time. Not too far behind. Yeah, win. Two for two. In the glee faith. You think all gold medals and all licenses? Uh, the licenses that I've done, yes. The B and A. All right, so what? The Griffith finished fourth, I think. I wasn't able to look at the race results because I was like not paying attention. But hey, got an eight-point lead on the Corvette now. It took second. Uh, DB7 had a bad race after finishing second at Trial Mountain. All right. So. races down three to go let's go to high speed ring
skip qualifying. And let's race. Mmm, nuts. Away we go. We just fly past the Copperhead. He's just here for the. Just here to have a good time. The other Griffith had a really good launch as well. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. I like how he's also lifting me inside, uh. tires. It's not just me having to go through that. Oh boy. Oh, what happened? I think he got stuck in the grass. The fuck? He just didn't stop the teller. Oh. Three wide around the final turn. Three wide again. This is some racing. Six damn six months. Yeah, I think the the thing with Aldi is like all their stuff is like they don't go through like a second party when it comes to like uh, their products. Like it's all like you know, made specifically for Aldi, or whatever, which means cost, uh, they pay a lower cost for the items, which means they can sell it for lower, or whatever, something like that. I've never been inside an Aldi, though. Maybe one day. And, you know, since they don't buy, like, a bunch of big national, international brand shit, I don't have to worry about selling those. The premium price. Free space. Honestly, they're just kind of efficient, period. In terms of uh, managing cost. Plus, we'll turn one, do this thing nimble. Looks like we're gonna have a Griffith 1 2 in this one. As a uh, victory is mine. Honestly, the Copperhead's doing a better job than I thought he would, especially after Trial Mountain. There we go. We now have a Griffith in one first and third in the points. I have a 13-point lead over the Corvette now, with two races to go. Ooh, Camaro and DB7 are tied. Fifth, fourth. Nito. Nito. Alright, well, onwards to race fall. Grand Valley. The R does mean race modified, yes. I don't think the copyright ever did make it past concept stage. PCC at Walking Glen. Oh boy. Have fun with your uh, turn two pile up. Roadblock. Only one prototype has ever made. And they put it in the game. Oh, I should probably pay attention to the game instead of just staring at chat. Almost led to uh, interesting things there, turn one. So basically like a bad viper. Which would explain why it was called Copperhead, because, you know, keeping with the snack name. 
Is it the babby snack? We. Oui. I mean, there isn't there a race mod unless something on a GT2. I think there is like an Elm edition of the Copperhead. Also, wasn't there legal troubles over the name Copperhead? Oh, it's in GT2. Okay. I thought it was also in this game, but obviously I'm dumb. Which is why it's just called Concept Car instead of, you know, Copperhead Concept or whatever. Also, I was thinking, I'm like, it's, I'm pretty sure it's in this game as well. Oh, fucking ZZ Top? Well, guess we can't stand ZZ Top anymore. Time to shave my beard. Runner. Oh yeah, the, what was it, Plymouth Muscle Car or whatever. Buff cream towards them. What's up, Bryn? Oh, 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 where am I going? Okay. I'm just make all the steering adjustments, don't mind me. Go this way. Field fairly spread out here. Nothing too exciting happening on track except me driving like a moron. The Corvette trying to, uh. trying to. But yeah, I mean. You have those devils. People who are like, you know, safe drivers, but they're not quick. You'll, you'll have plenty of A-class people on, with low I rating. Car goes wee. Well, victory is mine in the championship. Four wins in a row. Also, the fact I have a 16-point lead now. <laughs> Hooray! Oh my god, I'm back over with 100,000. Whoa, I'm gonna save this replay. Whoa! I'm just gonna do that. I'll rename it later. <laughs> Zero, that's very specific, but I'm about it. <laughs> All right, final race of our final, final race of the uh, the regional championships. What's that? Route eleven. It's, it's always at route eleven. Oh my God, I wonder how this car is going to handle route eleven. Let's find out. This may or may not be a struggle, especially with the uh, the chicane. The bus stop. <laughs> More like death stop, am I right? Oh god. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. Get out of here. You full cab my way. Well, the other Griffith has already flinged its way into the lead. Yeah, it's a good thing you actually can't roll your car in this game, or else uh, I would have done that several times already with this thing. Just grip roll city. Grip roll the car. Actually, that's more the copperhead when it's like fully upgraded. Also the Demio. Like, 
you fully upgrade the Demio, uh, like the a I think the A-spec Demio specifically, in this game it just becomes Rip Roll the car. <laughs> well, that was Corvette beating me on the brakes and shit. Look at the other Griffith bicycling, bicycling and bouncing. It really is. He's two wheeling. Oh god. Oh, that fucked me up. I got on the brakes way too late. He's not ready to tackle the chicane. Well, that first lap didn't go too terribly. Honestly, the other Griffiths uh, struggled more with this than I did. What the fuck am I doing? Ah! I mean, the Corvette is trying to hold on to second in the championship, and the Griffith is the other Griffith is in third. Losing three points is a lot better than losing five, because I think he's only like five points ahead. Whoa! Sneak. I'm actually surprised that that's been like my, my biggest passing spot, or most advantage advantageous passing spot around this track. Is the exit of the uh, the death butt stop. Hi, right, it's Boo. <laughs> Same Rick with the car. I mean, I'm never gonna give it up. Never gonna let it down. I gotta run around and desert it. Alright, it's the Battle of the Brits now. This is the battle. This is the fucking bike bicycle battle now. No. Fine, a little laugh. I, I just thought of something, but it's way too late now. It'd be interesting to uh, compare all the. Uh, like the lap times and stuff between the three cars I've driven in these uh, regional championships since all the tracks have been the same. <laughs> it is not zero. You still have more things to take care of before it's IA time. was not set up for the pass there. Oh, he hit the wall. He's in the wall. In the fence. Made it easy for me. <clears throat> ah, speaking of in the fence, that's one way to slow down for this uh, hairpin. Android 16. <laughs> God damn it, Reaper. <laughs> He's kind of dead, fucker. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Holy shit. Alright. Well, no sleep sweep for me. <laughs> I've been bullied by my own countrymen. You hate to see it. Oh, I've already won the championship, doesn't matter. Oh god. Oh my shoulder hurts. Ow. Shoulder really hurts. I think the 
the other Griffith had a plan there, but it didn't work out the way he wanted, I don't think. Like, I'm gonna push him out of the way so he can finish second, and I can maybe take second from the Corvette. That didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, a Griffith won every race. Yeah, there's the final standings, so... Victory is mine. Corvette second. Other Griffith third. And then the, uh... Aston Martin, and then... Camaro fifth, and the Copperhead with minimum points, because it was just kind of there. Yeah, 2,000 credits. Let's go. Oh, boy. Okay, I got another 20k. Hey, remember when I started this section of the game with, or tonight's stream with, uh, 300, like, 50,000 credits? <laughs> About that. Uh, ra race mods and, like, all these upgrades is pretty fucking expensive. Yes, the death chicane. Alright, there we go. All three of the uh, regional championships complete. With the gold trophy. Now, let's see what my prize car is for this one. It, ooh! I won a Japanese car in a US versus UK championship. Alright. Not what I was expecting, but... We got us an RX-7 uh, LM edition. Nice little purple there. Nice. Those three spokes, though. Give them three spokes. <laughs> well, that's that. So, uh, let me just save my progress and then we'll uh, do other things involving spending money.